Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be going through the process of creating this. And in the meantime, we're going to go through the steps of how to be happier with your work. Let's be honest, creating art is a journey filled with highs and lows, and oftentimes we find ourselves unhappy with what we've created. We can all relate to this. Being content with our creation is a very rare feeling. With society being in an extreme hyper state where you can literally get your work in front of millions of people with just one click. Social media algorithms have slowly conditioned us to expect immediate gratification every time we post something online. This leads us to have so much expectations from our work. When they don't get enough views, we find ourselves in a very endless loop of self-doubt, criticism, and a complete dissatisfaction with our work. This search of outside validation is disguised by our self-disapproval. The truth is, we were hardwired to expect immediate rewards for our efforts from a very young age. The schooling system conditioned us to study hard and get rewarded with good grades. After that, we can go into better colleges or get better jobs. It was a very simple transaction where your efforts have a clear goal and expectations and also instant societal rewards. When you start to get out of that bubble and go into the real world, the reality is so much different. Sometimes the effort you put in doesn't always have the same expected rewards, but it's not all bad. I think it's just a matter of setting realistic expectation and breaking the cycle of external validation. And I think this is a skill anyone can master. And here are five steps that help me when I'm feeling down. Simply start by creating art for yourself. This shift towards self-satisfaction can significantly boost your work and self-esteem. And understanding that slow progress is way better than no progress. And practicing one hour every day will compound in the long run. And looking back at it one or two years down the road, you will be way better than where you started. And second one is being okay with making mistakes. Sometimes you have to go through a tough time, and this is part of your story. So instead of looking at them as failures, think of them as steps towards improvement. If there were no issues in the world, we wouldn't have doctors or engineers. It's just part of life. And the next one is limiting comparing yourself to others. This will help you so much. I remember entering an online competition way back on cgtalks.org, and one of my posts was way down at the bottom, like completely underground. Granted, my art wasn't crazy, as I was just starting out, but I was taken back by all the entries. They were on a completely different level, like insane. Doing some more research, I found out that most of the top 50 were actually working for big studios like Magic the Gathering and comic book companies. So I started looking at how I can learn from them rather than putting myself down, as they were clearly out of my league. So shifting from comparing to taking inspiration helped me a lot with my journey. And I actually reached out to one of the artists and it was a very fun interaction. He actually inspired me to try Corel Painter to do my art instead of Photoshop for digital painting. Number four is stepping outside of your comfort zone. And this one is a little tricky because we often try and stay in our lane and create what we know. But when you start to go out of your comfort zone, it can spark a new fire and it can give you unexpected positive outcomes. The best part is you're in complete control. So you can venture on this one at your own pace like trying a new medium or switching from oil painting to pixel art. And lastly, taking breaks. You need to give yourself some healthy time off to allow your brain to disconnect, to absorb all that knowledge you've been accumulating throughout the days. You will be surprised how much more you can create when you take a breather in between than hacking all the day, all night, trying to exhaust yourself just to get through a deadline. Just like muscles, your creativity needs time to absorb and grow. So be generous when you're giving yourself some time off to do other projects. So when you come back to that specific task, your productivity is going to be on a completely different level. Remember, everyone's path is unique and what works for you might not work for me. The key is to embrace the journey, focus on personal growth and the joy of creation. So take your time with it because we are all going to the same destination. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far and you're interested in optimizing things and becoming better, I've created a new Discord server for like-minded people who wants to take this journey to the next level, and you can find it in the links below. 
if you enjoyed this video, please leave it a like and a comment. It will really help me with the algorithm and help the channel grow. If you enjoyed this video, you'll enjoy this video as well. Thank you so much. And remember, just take it one day at a time and I'll see you in the next video.